Hello everyone, welcome to Jonotech. Today, I'm going to teach you how to enable or disable Korean language keyboard in Android software. First, we're going to work on my Galaxy Nexus. It's got 4.2.1 Jelly Bean. Uh, what you do is go to Play Store and type in Korean keyboard. And then you'll see Google IME at the first, the top selection. Download that app. And once it gets successfully installed, you go to Home. And go to Settings. And you will have to go to Language and Input. And then in there, it'll be, you'll see the green. Google Korean keyboard. Um, right now it's not checked. You click it or tap it to make it enable it. And you can change a little bit of setting. And I don't want quick fixes. And I want vibrate. Then you go to wherever you can type. I'm just going to go to Google Play Store and then whenever there's a cursor uh, you just drag down drag it down from the top and click the choose input method and there you will want to use Google Korean keyboard accept and now there's a keyboard that you can change from Korean to English. Now, uh, we want to do the same thing for the older generation of the Android. The process is quite similar, but the key you press will be a little different. Just go to... And once it's loaded up, just click the search button and look for Korean keyboard. There we go. Same thing, the Google Korean IME will be there. In, uh, in this case, I already installed it on mine. So what you do, um, same thing, menu, settings. If you don't have a menu button um, for some reason, there should be a settings in the Android app drawer. Uh, scroll down where it says S. Okay, so I think that was it for today's tutorial. Um, I used Google Korean IME because it's the most easiest app you can download in the Google Android market and enable it without changing any setting. Personally, I like Swift Key. Um, it's, it works like this, if you want to see it. Uh, to change to Korean, I already set it up so that it has two languages. Just uh, drag the spacebar button and it changes Korean to English so and and depending on how often I use other words it already suggesting uh, first letters to enter so I mean the first words to enter so if you have any question or comments please leave it down below and until I see you in the next video see you later